outside. The man wanted for the murder of four people in a Northwest home is behind bars this noon. The search for Darren Wentz took police to New York and back. But last night, they got their man. ABC 7 was first on the scene when he was arrested in Prince George's County. John Gonzalez is live with how they tracked him down and has a story now with what's next. John? Larry, what a wild 48 hours. U.S. Marshals traveled more than 400 miles tailing this very dangerous man. He'd led them to this Howard Johnson here in College Park. He checked into that room, 412. Just miles away, he was arrested. ABC 7 News cameras were the first on the scene, and we were rolling when it all unfolded. It was an intense 48-hour manhunt that took U.S. Marshals to New York and then back to Maryland. A fugitive task force surrounded this Howard Johnson in College Park. They knew 34-year-old Darren Wint checked in here, and late last night, he got into a car and tried to check out. They did a wacky U-turn. We thought maybe they were, they were uh, um, aware that they were being tailed. We did a vehicle pin maneuver on both vehicles and were able to uh, stop them and arrest everybody with no, not a shot fired, nobody getting hurt. Once in Northeast D.C. on Rhode Island Avenue, his brother and Wint, the prime suspect in this horrific quadruple murder, were arrested and four other people, including two women, were detained. Take a look. Wint already has a long laundry list of past problems with the law, including assault and sex offense. We tracked him up to uh, New York City and we barely missed him last night. Mm. We have our New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force together with uh, NYPD. Sources tell ABC 7 News a large amount of cash was found inside the box truck his brother was driving. Saw two, three police officers going down that way. Didn't think much about it because he was supposed to be up in Brooklyn, I thought. Hours after the arrest, the Savopoulos family released a statement saying in part, quote, we are thankful to law enforcement who have worked so diligently to bring about an arrest in this case. While it does not abate our pain, we hope that it begins to restore a sense of calm and security to our neighborhood and to our city. The Savopoulos family saying they and the Vera Figueroa family have suffered unimaginable loss back here live. Again, that is the room where Darren Wind spent some time here in College Park. Police are still here at the hotel, and so are a number of families. This hotel is packed. After all, it is graduation weekend at the University of Maryland, just about a mile down the road. Darren Wind will be in a D.C. courtroom later this afternoon. He is charged with first-degree felony murder while armed. Reporting live in College Park, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.